Yeah. Okay. Another question came in from the chat here. Why do the pros say hunting mornings in the early season is a bad idea? Do you see any truth to that or disagree? What do you think, Josh? I think it depends on the, the location and the setup, which is a horrible answer. Um, I think they're, if you know where they're eating or feeding in early season and the bedding area is that they're going to be using is far enough away from that food source um, and you can catch them in the first couple of days of the season, that can be a good setup. Um, but, you know, you got to be careful hunting mornings uh, during early season because a lot of times the deer aren't going to be, they're going to be back to bed before, um, you know, before the, the legal shooting light is, is in, available in the morning. So um, I have one spot that there's a bedding area on public that is pretty far away from uh, where they feed in the crop fields at night. And if I've, I've had some decent luck in the, in the mornings there the first couple of days of the season, but that's about the only spot I can think of that I've kind of narrowed down in early season. Yes. So, um, I don't think, um, it's a bad idea to hunt early season. The more you hunt, the better, but I think you can do a lot of damage to your good spots. So um, if I was going to hunt early season, it's going to be some spot I'm not going to hunt in the evening. I'm not going to damage my evening hunts. And um, there's, there's a good reason for that. I mean, through the years of hunting, I've adapted, I've changed, I've learned some things. And if I go back to um, the years when I was killing all those big bucks, you know, the, the, the 90s, you know, um, maybe the late 80s. I would hunt every morning and every evening, almost the entire season. I'd miss one or two days, one or two mornings, one or two evenings. I would hunt all the time. And what I saw was when I'd go in in the mornings in early season or any time outside of rut really is I would see young deer and a few in the morning, but the mature bucks, I'd go into these bed areas and and it could be two hours before daylight. I'd listen to that bucket out of that bed area and run off when I go in there. It's dead silent. You're making noise. It is dead silent in the morning going in. And those deer are already in those bed areas. So then I would try and beat them. And I did this for years. I tried getting in there really early, like say three or four hours before daylight. You get to a tree, get in that tree. They'd come in in the dark underneath you. You can't see them. Or you see just barely make them out. They'd smell where you walked, bug out of there. They, uh, they'd they come in from downwind and smell the bed area before they come in there. They'd J-hook in, and they'd smell you downwind and blow and take off. And if yep. you stood up downwind, you had to get it just perfect, not to get too far down from them. Then they'd get in there, bed down, and you're not right over the bed. You can't shoot them. So you're stuck there for the day. And then you better hope they leave that way. But in the evening... Those deer get up out of their bed, walked on the main trails out of there instead of coming in wind to nose, and it's easy. So I prefer to hunt those spots in the evenings. Now, occasionally there's spots that I cannot get in there in the evening close enough without making noise. I'll give them a shot in the morning because you hate to give them a free ride and just let them bed there for nothing, right? So worst yep. case scenario, you push them out of there, you can hunt them where he moves to. But... Uh, you give it a shot in the morning, but it's lower odds because you're more likely to, to, to spook that deer. Um, now, that said, I think some terrains, they move better. Some terrains in some places, they move better in mornings than others. Like I've noticed in uh, the north woods of Wisconsin, when you get far up north in solid timber, I see a lot of movement in daylight in the mornings outside of rut. Uh, and I always thought that that was a little odd, but I think it has to do with probably wolf predation at, at night and stuff um, where we really don't have that down here. Yeah. And that's just a guess. I don't know for sure. Yeah. So take it for what it's worth. For me, I don't like hunting uh, mornings early season because all I do is spook deer out of the bed areas where they're bedded before daylight. And then I ruin my spots. 
Yep. The particular spot I'm thinking of is in the hip, big, big hill country here in Indiana where they travel a little bit or, you know, they have a little time to get back. So, um, probably rely or can relate to those big woods up there. Um, I'll give you an example of a hunt I screwed up last year and it's on the hunting beast. This was October. This was October 2nd. Um, this big deer, I was telling someone asked earlier about what deer we were going after this year. It was this deer. Um, I got him on cell camera at like 4 a.m. in the morning, um, going back to a certain bedding area I know of. Um, and I, he was far enough, that cell camera is far enough away from that, uh, area, uh, that bedding area. There's a, there's a cornfield in between that cell camera and where that deer bed, I thought maybe he would mingle in that cornfield long enough to get back, um, before he'd get back to that bed. So I got that morning, I got up super early. Um, I was already up and, uh, got into that spot probably an hour and a half before daylight and, you know, 30 minutes before legal light here he come he jay hooked like you said around the back of me i mean he came in to whatever 30 yards but he knew i was there and, and i boogered him never freaking got back on him the whole rest of the year and that was you know the first couple days of the season i'm like well crap you know um and the last year was kind of the first year that i didn't um feel like i had a good opportunity outside of that morning to actually kill that deer that i wanted to kill on that farm so i probably screwed it up right off the bat uh i mean the smart thing to do would have probably been to um just wait until that evening and try to set up on the bed um you know outside of the bedding but i had in my mind that maybe you know maybe he'd come back later than than what he didn't um i don't know so there's your example of uh <laughs> of how it can go wrong <laughs> 